Alright, what's going on everybody? It's the boy Mr. Swebble Swag. And we're working on some different types of things today. It was deeper than dance, but the whole fitness thing. So I'm gonna give you a couple exercises that allow you to um, work different parts of your body without having to do the dance moves that you see me do. That if you want to target, you know, especially the glutes. We got a couple exercises with my friend here. We're gonna demonstrate, and then you can do these at home. So right now we're gonna show you some kickbacks. You want to be sure to angle up. Nah, one more. Ten, then you want to switch. One. If you got a friend, have somebody so you make sure that you. There you go, all the way up. Five, keep going. Six, seven. Eight, nine, and ten. There you go. And so next, we're going to show you when you want to move the hips out. So you're going to demonstrate and do ten. Ready? Go. That leg up as high as possible. So you're not working. You work one part of the thigh, and now you're working the other part of your thigh. The thing is, most of the time, we get tired of just doing squats. Well, you do squats. If you're not doing weighted squats, then you need to work more parts of the back. Other side. And as you keep going, now you can add more sets. This is one set. You do three, you do four sets. Now this is your, your, your thigh and your butt rotate. A lot of ladies always ask me, how do I get a bigger butt? There's a difference between a big butt and a tone butt. So you gotta be sure which one you wanna do. So this is just one set, one exercise that you can do. You can add it to your routine. Add three or four uh, sets to it, 10 reps each, and then you got a nice little routine. And I will catch y'all next time. Nice little routines. See you later. All right, next we got a couple ab routines I want to show you. Everybody wants to continue to ask me, how do you get the six pack abs? How do you target that belly fat? We got a couple exercises you want to show you. One, you get to push up position, you're going to up, and you want to go elbow, I mean your knee to your elbow. Both sides. And you want to do about 10. When you do that, not only are you working your shoulders because you're holding your body weight up, but you're also targeting your obliques and your lower abs and your legs. So this is something that you want to do and add it to your ab routine and get as many sets, many reps. I say go up to 20 and then get as many sets in as possible, three to four. And then you stop. And now you want to go across. You want to see from your right knee to the left side of your body. You want to go as far as possible. And then get as many in as possible. I would say go up to 10, 12, and then do three to four sets. Once you do that, now you're targeting more parts of your abs. You want to work your obliques, and work those legs, and work those arms. If you really want to get into it, go left, go right, then do a push-up. That's something extra that you can do. She won, she got it, she got it, she's going, she got it. So I appreciate it. Check the Swipe Swag for more videos, and I'll catch y'all later. Appreciate it. All right, here's another exercise that we have. Working on the legs, working on the glutes. For that nice tone legs and butt that you all are looking for, jump squats. What are jump squats? Y'all know the regular squats that you do, so now you gotta add a little jump to it. What you wanna be sure is when you space out, Put your hands together, and you want your elbows to touch your knees. You're going to demonstrate, give me 10. Two. There you go. Three. You want to reach up. Four. There you go. Five. We call it ass to grass. You see, she's coming all the way down. Nine. There you go. And 10. That's the exercise that I want you to do. Try and time it. You don't have to do a certain number. If you want to do a number, I will go 25. Or you can just set a time limit. Do a minute, rest 30 seconds, do another minute, or you can do, a, do two minutes and rest for 30 seconds. So it's just up to you how you want to do it. Jump squats are a great way, and it's also a part of your cardio. If you want to add a little bit more cardio to your exercise, jump squats, jumping jacks, and things like that are a great way to get your heart rate pumping and also tone those legs that you want. I'll holler at y'all later. Keep watching the videos. Subscribe to the channel.